Jeff and I are up in the beautiful Sierras, and that's Jeff. He's hucking rocks. Good morning, everybody. We're in a spot here, and hopefully today I'm going to show you the difference in gravel and what I look for when I'm out mining, what type of gravel I'm looking for more than anything else to uh, help narrow in on the gold. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab the gear and uh, let's get right to it. Okay, this spot here, my foot's on bedrock and we're looking upstream. This, all this gravel in here, like this piece right here, this is granite. There's quite a bit of granite in here and granite is one of the lighter rocks. But if you look, this whole area has a, a real light color to it. Now, people have dug in here. Somebody's been digging here. And even the rocks are pulling out of here are all really light colored. Now, I'm going to move the camera upstream all about 20 feet. And basically, we're going to move over like 10 feet and the gravel is completely different. Let me show you. Okay, now we've only moved 20 feet upstream. And you can see, or at least I hope you can see, how much differently the rocks look in this area. They're larger, they're darker, they're smooth, they're shiny, it tells you they're, they're heavy. And there's a strip in here about, oh, I'd say 10 feet wide or so, maybe 15 feet, just right in the middle of it. But a strip heading straight away from the camera, and then on the other side of that, the gravel gets light again. So this is obviously where the heavies are traveling. So. We're going to give it a, a quick look here. Then, you know, if we don't do good here, there's another spot upstream that's got the same thing. There's a pretty good boundary between the light gravel and the heavy gravel. And we're going to go check that out. Okay, I got a spot right here. I'm basically just doing a little experimenting here. This is bedrock. And it's, it's kind of going down a little bit here. But we got boulders in here that obviously have been here for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these rocks to expose some bedrock that I know hasn't been detected. And uh, just uh, I figure we'll get a better feel for what's going on in this area if we get into ground that I know hasn't been worked. Well, the first thing I'm noticing is this gravel is really packed. So that's, that's good. Now one thing you want to bear in mind when you're doing this, let's up out of the water like this, is if you do find gold, which way you're going to go? So you want to make sure you're throwing your rocks where you have no intentions of going because you don't want to have to move them all twice. Okay, let's dig this out and see if we can find some gold. Well, I got this area cleaned out down to the bedrock, but I'm sure you can't see it on the camera, but the bedrock is smooth as can be. Uh, no cracks in it at all. So the odds of there being gold here are slim to none. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with the detector, just check it to make sure but if I don't get any targets with the detector, we're going to find us a better spot because this doesn't look that good to me. Well, 
Well, our last spot didn't have a target, so I've moved upstream a little bit, and I got some bedrock here, and I got a target here, and a target over here somewhere, but I, I don't know if I can move this rock or not, but the gravel in here looks really good to me. So we're gonna take and uh, dig this target up first. I'm gonna put the mic in the headphones so you can hear what I'm hearing on these targets. Okay, that's our first target. And I'm still learning the sounds, but it doesn't sound bad to me. And let's check the second target. First target is right here in uh, Bedrock's real shallow. So we're gonna dig that one up first. The second one's over in here. And I think I got a bit more digging to do on it. So let's grab this first one, see if we can figure out what it is. Well, we got our uh, first target in the pan. I'll be right back. Well, I got that panned out. Nothing. Another flake. And Jeff is kicking my butt. He's got, what, three pieces now? Yeah. He's got three small pieces, and I got nothing. Okay, well, I'm gonna jump over and take a look and uh, see if I can get, get Jeff to show us what he's got so far. Okay, there's Jeff's three pieces. Well, I just found my first piece of gold. I haven't got it out of the crevice yet, but I figure I'll grab the camera and show you. Okay, right there's a piece of gold. Jeff's gonna go ahead and dig that out for us. I don't like that sound where to go. Oh, there it is. Well, it turned out to be a large flat flake. I was just getting ready to move on upstream, but now that I found that piece, I'm stuck here for a little while more. After lunch, I, uh, Detected around here some more, and I found a spot right over here that I uh, got a reading on it, but it had a little bit of water in there was seeping in there. And so I started working on it, and I should have filmed it, but it was out in the sun, and my ND filter is way down by the truck. And so basically what I'm saying is I was lazy and I couldn't film it because I didn't have the right filter. Jeff just found a piece of gold. Uh, we'll flip around here in a second. Uh, he's out in the river. He's smart. Let me tell you, it's a lot cooler in here than it is out there. I'm working on the bank where I was in the sun, hot and miserable but I did find three pieces of gold in that hole and one of them pretty nice. Let me show you. Okay, hopefully you can see it. here we got one nice little chunky piece and then two smaller pieces over here. I've uh, been running around for the last several hours. I uh, haven't been filming because I've been back up here and the brush is real thick and there's no way I can take the camera back in there. I uh, did end up finding one more piece, small piece back up in here, but uh, my metal detector, the batteries finally gave up the ghost. So I'm done detecting for the day. I may do another crevice or two, just panning, but uh, I'm thinking this is pretty much it for this boy. I'm beat. Um, I haven't caught up with Jeff to find out how he's been doing sniping. So at this point, I'll either th see you back at the truck or I'll see you back at the house. 
Well, back at the house, and you guessed it, next day. Well, that was a that was a fun trip up there. Uh, started out really nice, the weather was beautiful, and then I kind of blew it. I spent too much time out in the hot sun and not drinking enough water. Uh, you'd think by now I'd know better, but uh, I tell you, I was pretty much gut shot by the end of the day. Uh, you know, you got to pay attention. When it's hot like that, if you're going to play in the sun, you've got to drink water. And I didn't, and I, and I paid for it. I felt horrible by the time I got home. Okay, enough whining. What do you say we uh, jump over here and uh, see how we did on the gold? Okay, let's try our largest piece first. That is 1.2 grams. And we ended up with a total of 2.02 grams. Well, just a hair over 2 grams. Not a bad day, but uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I started out this year pretty good. I was having half ounce days and, you know, close to half ounce days and Seems like the last few trips out have been uh, a couple gram days, so I'm, I'm going to have to fix that. Now, I kind of messed up on this video, now that I you know went back and looked at it, is I didn't film the parts where I was uh, digging out and panning the lighter gravel, because uh, I wasn't finding any gold, so I didn't film it. And I should have to show you the difference, because there is a difference in the amount of black sand you get and, you know, and the gold. And you get in that lighter stuff, the black sand you find, and this is one thing that I didn't explain in the video and I wish I would have, was when you get into the lighter material, your black sand is much finer. And you get into that heavier material where you start picking up the pickers and little nuggets, you'll notice that the black sand is much coarser. And so that's one of the markers I look for is that coarse black sand. You want to you wanna keep where you're getting the same amount of black sand, but where it's coarser. And it shows you you're in the heavier areas. And then, there, you know, the other markers, which is the lead and the, and the iron and stuff. But one of these days, I'll get it together and put out a video that shows it all. Uh, probably I'd do a lot better if I stand in the sun. Well, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day.